Alex Smith announced his retirement. One of my favorite players I ever covered. Uh, one of the more down to earth, multi multi millionaire franchise quarterbacks. One of the more down to earth football players I've ever met. Um, so, in honor of his career, what was your favorite Alex Smith memory? Well, I have to be brutally honest. Uh, I've never liked the style he was play. Uh, fair. He played That's fair. Football, fair. but uh, I have. There's not really a memory, but there's a really heartbreaking memory when when he came back and played football again after his horrifying injury. Mm -hmm. uh, it melted my heart. I was like, "You deserve that, mate. You have to yes. be there." Um, what I heard about him, he was a great guy. He was a great mentor for all those quarterbacks. He he helped reaching their goals. Colin Kaepernick and um, and Patrick Mahomes were so high on him, and there's a reason why they said that he was one of the greatest bridge quarterbacks I think we we have seen in the past. And um, and yeah, he was he was a great guy, and I'm really happy that he could came back to the field and and play play once or or sometimes more. He, yeah, me too. I mean, I feel like his career could have been so much more special. Yeah. He got drafted onto a terrible team, one of the worst teams. Uh, he had like eight different offensive coordinators his first eight years or something like that. He had no chance. Uh, he got injured early on playing for a bad team, injured his shoulder, compromised his arm strength. He could have had a really special career. Maybe if he had gone to Green Bay and sat behind Brett Favre for three years, who knows what could have happened for him. But he overcame all of that. And by the time he was 27, he was a winning good quarterback. And he was a winning good quarterback for a decade in the NFL. It's amazing. And my favorite memories of him, I have two. One in 2011, my first season covering the team, he went, he was just winning. And it was a lot like what was happening with Jimmy Garoppolo. Like he's winning, but people are like, yeah, but it's not because of you. The running game is good, the defense is good, but it was remarkable. And he had the he had the game manager. Uh, label. That's like Jimmy. He's not. He did. He only threw five picks that year. He was very conservative. The Niners took the game out of his hands so many times. And that first playoff game was at Candlestick against the Saints. No one thought the Niners were going to win that game because they were going to have to win a shootout against Drew Brees. And Alex Smith just couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. It was impossible. But he did it. He went back and forth with Drew Brees. They scored a ton of points. He made the throw to win it. He made the run to win it. It was remarkable. It was like the greatest game he ever played. I was there. It was really cool to see a guy who had been, you know, everyone's, it's a, it's, it's a physical impossibility for, for Alex Smith to do this. He did it. And then finally, the next year when he lost his job, he was playing even better the next year. Got hurt. Colin Kaepernick came, uh, came back in and came in and Alex Smith was gone. Uh, in the playoffs, um, so Alex Smith showed his face in the, in the locker room. Someone, you know, made himself available as the backup to talk. And of course we all go over there to talk to him. And what were 95% of the questions about? Can you guess, Botan? Um, what do you think about Colin Kaepernick? How what do you think about Colin Kaepernick? Are you surprised at how good Colin Kaepernick is? Uh, <laughs> question after question about how great Colin is. That's tough. For a 28-year-old guy who thinks he's good, who has pride, who maybe feel like felt like the job was taken from him unfairly, all of that stuff, he said he stood there and answered questions graciously about Colin Kaepernick for 20 minutes. Hey, he does this great. He's so remarkable with this. Some people think, but he actually and he just went on and on and on about how great Colin Kaepernick was. And you know, I just it's not that Kaepernick wouldn't have done it for Alex Smith because he wouldn't have. Most players wouldn't do that for other players, especially a veteran who'd been benched under, you know, suspect circumstances. He handled it like a gentleman. He was always a gentleman. And I really remember standing there. I was about 24 being like, wow, man, this is this takes a lot of poise and character to do what he's doing right there. And you could see it on his face every time someone asked him a question. It was like, man, this is my life now. I, I am reduced to backup quarterback. I, it's not even about me anymore, but you know what? Fine. I can do that. You well, know, I I'll, I'll prove him wrong eventually. That's something which showed you his greatness as a man and a human being. And that's something you should respect. And that I respect the most about that space. His, his human greatness, how calm he was. 
Wow. Yeah. I just not I, a Hall of Fame career, but a legendary career in its way. Yeah. 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 Well, here's to you, Alex Smith. Uh, you were not appreciated in your time like many artists before you, but uh, Niner fans will always remember you as one of the toughest, classiest players in franchise history, and you deserved all the success you had in Kansas City and Washington. Uh, congrats. Have a great life. I wonder if he's going to move back to the Bay. I think he might. His wife's from out here. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe you can get him on, uh, on, the, on with me and you next week. We'll see what happens. 